Hello everybody and welcome to another tutorial and this tutorial is going to be teaching you how to install SFML 1.6 on Visual Studio 2012 and for those of you who are into are using the newer version SFML 2.0 I'll be showing you how to do that in the next tutorial either later on tonight or tomorrow okay so to get started uh, what we need to do is type in SML download and we're gonna get be brought to the download page so uh, we're doing 1.6 so we need to find the SML full SDK right and click the 2008 version now it's gonna download it you're gonna be getting a zip file and once you get the zip file um, extract all the contents from it right uh, the thing that you must extract is right here. So this is a file as for my 1.6 Okay, so what I want you to do is copy the include folder paste it in here uh, And copy the live folder and paste it in the desktop or whatever uh, So I'll close this for now So we need to go to the directory where Visual Studio was installed Okay uh, so I install the files and stuff in my E Drive Visual Studio and we need to go to VC so we're gonna go to our live folder and we're going to copy all these and post it and paste it in the live folder and so on and so forth so it has DLL files in there that we don't need we need them in the bin folder so we need to type dot DLL in the search bar we we need these two there so we can we can keep these here but we're gonna start from sml graphics and copy all these and we're gonna cut it okay then we're gonna go back to vc click bin and we're gonna paste paste the dll files in there now a lot of people that have converted from uh 2008 to 2010 uh you might be saying okay this isn't the right way to go about it well, we're going to be replacing a lot of files in here, but the one whenever we build it using Visual Studio 2010 or 2012, uh, whenever we build it, we only get static links. We only get static uh, DLL files, right, or static library files, right? Uh, we want to also have dynamic link files so we can dynamically link it if we would like to or statically link it if we would like to, okay? Uh, so this one will show you how to do both so anyways now that we got that done we can X this out and we want to open up SFML 1.6 go to the build VC 2008 right click open with Microsoft Visual Studio 2012 okay so it's gonna add, this is gonna pop up click OK uh, just wait for this to load it should be faster on your computer it's just with my screen recorder it, it makes everything really slow and we don't even need, really need to um, include all of these files I don't think but anyways just wait okay so okay it's preparing it Okay, so it's going to pull this up under your web browser. You can exit out. Okay, so you see the samples folder that you see? Delete it. Now, if you don't have the, it divided into folders right uh, like this, all you need is the files that are prefixed with SFML. Okay, everything else, you can delete it. So we're going to select the samples folder, click delete, remove it. Okay, that's all we need right here. Okay. Uh, so what we're going to do now is we're going to select debug DLL now You can either press F7 or go to build and click build solution. Okay, and my shortcut to that is FL F7. Okay, so we click F7 uh, Wait for this to build and I'm going to pause it for the sake of time Okay, so uh, once it's done building, you should see six succeeded, okay? Uh, so now we're gonna go to debug static and we're gonna rebuild it again. So I will pause it. So, 
So once that's done, we'll see five succeeded. Uh, so now we gotta go to release DLL. Click F7, I'm gonna pause it. And then we'll see six succeeded. And lastly, but not least, release static, okay? And we will click F7. And once that once that's done, we'll see five succeeded. Okay. Uh, so when that's done, we can uh, close the solution, or we can like we'll just close this window altogether. And let me minimize this. Okay. So once that's done, what we're gonna do is we're going to go to SFM at 1.6. We're gonna click lib, and we should see a new folder called VC 2008. So what we're gonna do is select all the files over here and we are going to delete them okay so we're gonna change this to VC 2012 just so we know what it is and we can copy and paste this okay I don't know why it's not working Okay, so we got our VC 2012 and we got uh, a lot of, we got the files that we need, right? Uh, so what we're going to do is the same thing. We're going to copy all these and now we're going to go to the directory where we actually install Visual Studio again. So we go to Visual Studio, VC, and we're going to go to lib, okay? Now we're going to paste it in here. Now if it asks us to replace files, we say, yeah, we're going to replace the files, okay? So we've replaced the files in there. And then what we're gonna do is put .dll again. Uh, for the SFML DLL files, we're going to cut them, go back, then go to the bin folder, paste in there, replace them. Okay, so some files were not replaced, not all the files were replaced, but uh, some were, right? So the files that were replaced were the necessary files that need to be replaced. Uh, so then now that we now that we got that set up we got to open up visual studio and we're going to start up a new project and we'll do console application and we'll uh, call this sfml 1.6 whatever i'll click next empty project finish okay so uh we'll create a source file called main or something uh we'll include sfml graphics because normally we test against sfml system but for some reason before my other configuration system would work but the graphics wouldn't so uh, this will test to see if everything works properly so we'll have our render window our window our video mode Uh, any size doesn't matter and we'll display the window and I don't know we'll put system pause and we'll return zero okay so now we got to go to project and our properties uh, and we're going to go to our preprocessor Okay, so by default, it gives us a static library. So I'm gonna teach you how to do it, link it statically. So if we're doing static linking, we have to erase all these and put SFML static. If not, it, it would be good to put SFML underscore dynamic, but you really don't need it. Uh, so we put that in there. Uh, so a lot of tutorials also teach you uh, to add the additional include directories and stuff, right? But we already did that in our VC folder, right? So instead of having to do that with every project, it's already there in our VC folder, okay? Uh, so we're gonna go to our linker, we're gonna go to input, and we need to include sfml-graphics-s-d since it's static, uh, sfml-graphics-s, uh, no, sfml-window, dash s dash d lib and sfml dash system dash s dash d uh, lib okay and this is for a debug right um 
and if we're gonna do release uh, I'm not gonna go through the whole release thing uh, but release will be the exact same thing uh, but instead of slash s um, slash D will be just dash s and don't forget to uh, set the preprocessor as well right uh, so we're just gonna click OK so let's run this program just to see if it actually works so as you can see we get a window okay so the program actually works so we got a window up and running so that's static linking um and if you would like to do uh non-static linking so we can remove this right here um and we go to linker input and just like we did with uh other versions we just have to put dash D or whatever for debug or nothing for release click OK run this and it runs fine so that is how you get SFML 1.6 set up on Visual Studio 2012 if you have any questions don't forget to comment below or you can post a question on my forum uh, at codingmadeeasy.ca slash forum. So don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. Hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching and bye.